Sky Geminis, if you want to come on in, have a seat for a scroll and a scry. I've made a scroll here in your name and essence. If you want to take a screenshot to scry on your own times to see what shapes or symbols speak from your psyche and psychic senses. We also have little man here joining us. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Gems. If you'd like to join me, I'm going to close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness. So we may be open to perceive and receive symbolic support. And when you're ready, gems, if I may, I'm going to dig in here. Thank you as always for holding space for me to share my insights and feel well to comment below what you see, sense, or feel. And this is a divination dose in between the threshold of November and December. So I look forward to your full Rorschach and a reading in December for December. Look at that beautiful fairy flower gems. Is there something like a, I feel like something just like clicked, uh, just clicked. Like my whole energy just went click. Hmm. There, yeah. Some sort of, Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. There's a blending of elements here in your one, like, okay. So I just heard five finger discount. So I hope nobody stole from you or you feel like somebody is like stealing from you. Uh, but this isn't how it feels like it, but it brought me to like the high five of the five finger discount. Like if something was some sort of elemental encouragement or empowerment within your energy gems you've been able to take it back and it's almost now i can see like earth air fire water space everything's back in, in your hand and with both hands you got like jazz hands happening you're like i got everything everything has come back and now it's a matter of what do you want to do with that right? All the elements have come home or you've uh, been working on maybe one or a few individually, but they were all interconnected. And now it's like if somebody was making a fist because I'm seeing a little bit of a rough, not rough convo, like up here at the top, there was some, some yelling. So I don't know if this was like self-talk, like, come on, get, get out of this or stop doing this, something along that lines. Or if it was with an actual other person, some sort of conflictual conversation. Thank you, little man. That's nice. Okay. You're, you're fine. Uh, but something kind of sparked it. Even if it was with somebody outside of you, it's almost like it brought... You brought it home, Gems, and you're like, you know what, this this conflict within my mind or this conflict of this conversation I had, I, I'm going to bring everything home and kind of be able to, to look at it with all the elements, with all the offerings that it could be, could have been offering you the whole time, but because there was an anger or a frustration, you couldn't see the, the value or the, do you know what I'm saying, something, Gemini's? It's very, <sighs> conflictual to calm. And that was like that aha moment I felt earlier. Now my belly's getting a little upset. Like this is a little nerve wracking because now it's also turning into a butterfly. So now it's like, oh, I'm aware of this. Conversation within or an aspect with another, some sort of conversation. And all the elements have come home. They're at your fingertips because they were always there for you. But now it's like you can you can tangibly feel them. And you're like, oh, okay. And the aha happens. The obstacle becomes an opportunity. And I'm seeing a, a, a big sword. Like I want to take the sword, sword in the stone, kind of pull it out. It makes me feel like that. Aha. The whole time I thought the sword was stuck because of the rock and it was the rock's fault or this rock is in my way. But it's like there's that five fingers again, right? Like it's wrapping around the, I don't know, the handle. 
and something about a grip, like getting a grip on something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is if you're resonating and you're still here, you can you can uh, feel what I'm what I'm saying. There was help <clears throat> midway. I feel like somewhere along this conversation, again, whether it's within within, I feel like it was with somebody else, but it was always within you. Um, even if there was time away or something along the lines, you were still carrying on the conversation on your own within yourself. And there was a portion in the time frame, more recent past perhaps, that it was, you're like, okay, you came to some sort of calm, but it wasn't the, the click. It wasn't the, you know, pulling out the sword, but it was there. And there was, for some reason, you wanted a little bit more time to maul, right? Because gems, it's like a, how I'm seeing it is, it's the pressure of turning the coal into the diamond, right? You're, you're willing to go the extra distance to make sure if you're going to reveal this diamond of healing, if you're going to, um, I don't like cut it so it's all prismy, if you're going to offer it to somebody in a commitment or uh, I'm seeing almost like an apology ring as well or a promise ring, you, you want it to be as pure as possible. And you being the creator of it because you go the extra mile. And you know what I'm uh, seeing? I think it's Dan Aykroyd's um, Skull Vodka and they also filter it over Herkimer Diamonds. Now, whether or not you... Uh, believe in what the crystals do or don't do but for their integrity they go the extra mile and and gems that's how it feels and it's also a herkimer diamonds maybe that can stand out to you or it could be helpful you go the extra mile to ensure when you're pure when you're making promises or packs and or healing right and it's all lit up in like a flame. I'm seeing a campfire and you can throw in those packets. So I'm not sure what's in those packets to, to cause a chemical reaction, but it makes the flames turn all different colors. And it's a very multi-dimensional flame fire. And that's what this feels like. And it's all, all about the fingertips, right? Each flame. Oh, it feels fantastic. I also feel like if you are in, in this reflecting mode of this uh, flame and when you're ready to to step forward to this commitment or to what was a conflict promise you know the whole kit and caboodle there that we are walking through you're going to be met with open arms all right there there will be an open arms now whether this is your open arms and saying okay i am ready to come forward in whatever aspect or simply just speak right speak your reflection about this peacefully but I also see that you're met with open arms all right I'm gonna flip it to win it here thank you little man for holding such beautiful space for us for the gem collective a little bit of cat energy for you and I'm gonna take a minute here to gaze to gain and see if anything stands out okay so I'm seeing a Frankenstein head with the the bolts at the side and but there's like blood shooting out of them. If that's a little creepy. I don't mean it to be creepy. <clears throat> but I feel like it's releasing pressure. That's what, that's what it's about. It's about releasing pressure. And something in the throat into the higher head. You know how like there's heart and then the high heart. And there's the, the human head. And then there's like the, the higher self head or the higher mind. And something about releasing pressure in the throat area. Like right at the neck. At the bottom neck. You might have been holding something like just in your throat because now I feel like I have a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Which brings me back to that conversation. Internal, external, what was external, but it's been carried on internally. I want to go back. Thank you. Let's see what else do we have here. May I use my contemplation crystal ball? Thank you. Hmm. Sorry for the pause, but I am gazing to gain and encourage you to do the same, like just to release the race and the rush and allow the hazy 
gaze to have things step forward. Okay, so I'm seeing a really uh, open mouth. Uh, something's coming out of it. I'll see if I can share this with you. Like, see here on the side? And if that was part of the mouth, like the lips, like, ah. And then there's one little hair, like if I was seeing, I don't know if it's Charlie Brown or like Stewie from the Family Guy. <laughs> Some, You know what I mean? Like there's those little cartoon hairs. And there's something coming out. And I feel like that comes back to that throat. When you decide to release the pressure, maybe there's been some healing done. Maybe going to therapy or you found a mentor or you have a confidant that is helping you say, say how you feel or something along that lines. And then the, as you sing, it's like phlegm comes out of what this frog is, this frog in my throat. And I go, oh, oh my goodness, there it is, there it is, there it is. Well, that's horrible tonage, but you know what I'm saying? Like, ba, 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 ba. You can find your voice again. That's how that's feeling, Gemini's. I'm going to add on some tarot and oracle here, as long as little man will work around you. Thank you. Little Egyptian, little Egyptian energy here for you. We're here for the Geminis, thank you. I'm also seeing a fly at the bottom of your scroll here, your ink block. I think there's the two eyes and it's got its legs down. So I don't know if this fly was bugging you or, thank you, you're becoming, actually that's how I'm more so seeing it is all the fly eyes. And that aha, like you open your eyes and suddenly there's this, prismatic perception and it kind of brings me back to the diamond brings me back to the diamond hmm okay so there's something that's telling me it's there's more to having the prismatic perception because it's what you've been working on but it's like what you're going to do with it is the next next phase we have here the hierophant there's that wisdom the knight of cups and the two of pentacles i'm going to take a moment here your ink blot in scroll form feels like this knight of cups this flowery flame flower of flame everything at your fingertips it's like you have everything you need to get your heart strings moving again right not again oh that's interesting but just like when i was horribly tonally da -da 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 speaking it's like you can find your tone even your new tone because I feel like when you have been through this contemplation, conversation, conflictual, or just simply contrastual something within oneself or another, what you've been going through, the way you've been, you know, approaching it within, when you decide to speak it, share it, say it, so on and so forth, you're actually coming forward as a, almost a different person. So the guitar is still the same, but it's like now there's new chords. So ooh, there's a... And see, there's a fly buzzing around. There's a fly. And it's almost like you can, like the guitar of the heart hasn't changed, but now there's new chords for you to play with. So when you like serenade, maybe when you decide to speak or sing, whatever the case may be, the person's going to be like, oh, they're, f they're familiar. And, but there's new chords, you know what I'm saying? So it, it can kind of smooth like a serenade. The healing, the healing. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. I'm seeing the owl eyes as the, there it is up here. The owl eyes I'm seeing as the infinity symbol up there. It's almost like at one point in time, you might've had googly eyes about something and like it, you feel like your wisdom was whisked away. Like, oh my goodness, maybe you got, you know, we're in a love relationship and you're like, how did that happen? I was so googly eyed, but you tend to be a very serious person, gems. And, you know, going with your, with your sign, 
you can you can morph and you're like but that really got away from me and now you've been telling yourself stories right you've been in contemplation mode it's that conversation that has kept on going even though you, the other person place or thing the partner romantic platonic career whatever the job etc might have been whatever your channel is they they or it was ended but you've kept it going within oneself because you've been the pressure to the diamond you're like hmm when i want to close this out i want it to be pure pure heart song pure heart song and then that is shared even though this feels like highly individual work it's because it's about sharing it perhaps to those people places or things but just for oneself so that you're walking around a little lighter and that's like f full flame and you're remember when we were talking about like being whisked away like how did the googly eyes somebody else's shiny object you know maybe uh you know whisk you away from your wisdom or your status quo your seriousness and you're like oh oh i see that now i see how i too literally as a diamond creator can can be that shiny object for people you know what i'm saying like there's a there's a perspective and it brings you back into that fly of many perspectives and having your feelers out for that understanding all right gemini's we want to add yeah we're going to add a one more oracle card for you thank you so much for joining me like share subscribe links below to help a gal grow and i'm always appreciative of your awesome attention and awareness complete gratitude and from little man here too who's been holding space like a champion we're here for the gemini's please closing out i really want to see what this card is details 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 this is where the Gemini's rock, just like the diamond. You'll create the diamond, the pressure, but then you're also going to carve it out. You're going to, whatever that term is, right? Uh, cut the diamond and for that prismatic feel, details, purity. Like I can see a Gemini holding something up going, yeah, okay. You know, you have like that thing, but there's also something about realizing that you too could be a shiny object that gives people googly eyes spark it does say spark contrary to the lighting on the it's not my immediate concern and what's also fascinating is on the card she is playing a violin guitar and there is i know you can't see it let me see if i can Yeah, okay, we'll try. See how there's like hearts, blood splurting out here? And it brings you back to the Frankenstein. And she's playing the violin at the throat. So there's the heart guitar and then like the throat violin. And just like in your ink plot, the pressure of the Frankenstein bolts. I don't know, music might be a really like while you're working, something about music. Yeah, encouragement. And maybe it'll just give you compassionate encouragement. Because it's about healing on your own terms and time as well. Peaks of joy is on the bottom. Peaks of joy. Gems, fascinating. I am, if I may be very honest, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I know you got your serious side and your playful side, your, your shiny side and your your diamond and your coal side but this really feels like things are coming together and there's an energy around your whole collective that if if, if i may at least remind you it's worth it when you polish the diamond with the the details that you do for oneself that are shared out to the collective um, for any commitments that are being made or peace offerings or promises it feels well-rounded and just like a diamond Herkimer or all the other kinds of diamonds there are in the world. It's beautiful and it is appreciated. So until next time, Gemini's, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.